The purpose of this video is to raise awareness of scamming. Scamming is the illegal practice of deliberately misdiagnosing errors and or issues with individuals' computers in order to convince those individuals to pay, often large sums of money, for software and services that they don't need. This video in no way focuses on specific ethnic, religious, political or social groups or individuals. No offence is intended. Scamming is illegal, no matter who does it and where in the world they do it. Hopefully, by watching this video, potential victims of scamming can avoid the time, cost and embarrassment of being lied to and taken advantage of. Thank you for understanding and please enjoy the video. Alright, hi guys, we've got something which potentially could work really well today. In VB here, I made a really terrible little program that when it is run, it displays my scammer rickroll. I'm sure some people have already seen it, uh, well, if, I, if you've watched my streams and stuff. But I've basically replaced CMD with that, so it plays a scammer rickroll. And I've also replaced Event Viewer with a different variant of the program that does this. Event Viewer Scam. And also, I think I did MS Config with Microsoft Scams. And I've replaced all the files that they'd usually use with stuff like that. So let's see how it goes. My name is Chris. How may I assist you? Hi, there's a problem with my computer. Uh, so what problem you are facing in regards to your computer? Uh, basically just these pop-ups. Sorry, sir? Uh, just these these pop-ups. What? Pop-ups. There's these strange pop-ups. Pop-up. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, are you in front of your computer? Yeah. Right now? Yeah. Okay. Uh, first of all, I need to connect your computer to a secure server. After that, I will help you better. Okay. That's why you are facing this problem and what can I do for you? Right. How can I help you? Okay? Yeah. Uh, for that, uh, you need to follow some of my simple instructions. Okay? Okay. Uh, you need to open up browser in your computer. Okay. Okay. Any browser, sir. Mozilla, Firefox, uh, Google Chrome, any browser. Okay, I've got Firefox open. Okay. And in Firefox, you need to type on the address bar of the Firefox browser, you need to type a website, sir. Okay. The website is www. Yeah. Yeah. Logme123.com. Okay, log me in one two three. Yes, sir. Logme m e i n one two three dot com. Okay, I've got that. Do I press enter? Okay. Yep, I've oh, pressed enter, I can see support connection, enter your six digit code. Okay sir, give me a moment, I will provide you six digit code. Okay. The code is 41. Yep. 10. Yep. 28. Okay. Now click on start download. And now click on run. After right. downloading the file, you yes. need to click on run. Okay, yeah. Have you clicked on run? Yeah, it's just downloading the file. This is live support. Yeah, yeah. So is there any is there any option like allow okay? Uh no there isn't. It's not come up with any message. This is EMP two oh two four zero two oh two four. Now click on OK sir. I can't see OK. Yeah, nothing's come up. I don't understand why I'd already be having issues. This is a new computer. This is a new computer. And I'm already having problems with it. And when you have purchased this computer? About two weeks ago now. Two weeks ago. Yeah. Let me first of all let me check your computer why you are facing this problem. All right. Yeah, so now you are connected to a secure server. Okay. This is my cursor on your screen. You, have you seen it? This is my cursor. Uh yeah, I can see that. Yeah. So first of all I uh, need to perform a diagnostic check. Uh before that I need to ask so what's the problem you are facing? Can you show me? Well, it was a pop-up in my uh, browser, but it's gone. It just keeps coming up and I don't know why. I cleared out my I cleared out my history because I was scared of it. Uh, uh, why this pop up came into your browser, I will explain to you because I will perform my diagnostic check. Okay. okay? 
Yep. Give me a moment. No, please. What was that? Sir, this is the command prompt. Okay. This is the this this is the diagnostic check of the uh, window, sir. It checks the window. Right. What well, CMD? Yes, sir. CMD is the command prompt. I click on it. Command prompt. Click on the command prompt in front of your screen. Uh, click on command prompt. Nothing's happening. Yeah. Nothing happened. Click on it. I did, and nothing happened. Give me a moment, sir. See, my computer's already having issues. No, What's this? No. What was that? Why are you replaying music? Doesn't give up, does it? Why does that keep happening? He, he has no idea what to do. Oh, let's just do something else. <laughs> oh god. What's going on? Why? What? Are you having issues with my computer as well? Why? Why isn't it working? Why can't you do a diagnosis? Hello, are you there? Yes, sir. I am there. Hello, sir. I am there, sir. What? I am trying to diagnose your computer that why you are facing this issue, sir. But when I am trying to uh, try to diagnose your computer, perform a diagnostic check on your computer, uh, someone is not allowed it me to access your computer or check your computer. Why is what's that? wrong is going, going in your computer. As you can see, sir, there are some uh, unknown websites are oh, no. open itself. Because someone is trying to compromise your computer. Someone right. is com trying to hack your computer through the server, through the network, sir. Through your IP address. They will know the IP address is known to them. Do you know the meaning of IP address? What is IP address, sir? I have no idea what an IP address is. Give me a moment. First of all, let me show you what is IP address, sir. Here you can see, sir, what read out from the Google. An uh, internet protocol address is a numerical label assigned to each device that is computer, printer, participating in a network that uses internet protocol for communication. Right. An IP address serves two principal functions. Sir. The IP address is like that. You can see 172.6. This is the so this is the same as your home address, sir. Right. But okay. But this is the computer address. I will give you an example for that, sir. If someone knows your home address, he can he or she might be come to your house. But right, uh, okay. uh, if someone uh, doesn't know the uh, doesn't know the address of your computer, uh, so your home, he will not never come to your house. Am I right? This is the same thing happened with the computer. If someone knows your computer, he can easily access your computer. So oh, no. the IP address. Oh, that doesn't sound very good. That you are the, you are facing the same problem of the IP address. So your IP address is not secure. So right. And one more thing I want to show you. So he hasn't even, he was going to type in conflict detected in CMD then. Okay then. And sir, this, this is a virus or a bomb, virus. which is also reported in your computer. You can read it out. What is it? Conflicker. Sir, this is a type of virus, sir. Right, okay. Which is present right now. This, this virus is present into your computer, sir. It is Con controlling your computer through the uh, network, sir. As you can see in this figure, there are some car. These are, this is the router, sir. Right. I'm showing that the mouse. Sir. This is the router, and through the routers, different computers are connected to the network. And this is the I uh, service provider through which you are you are you are using the internet, sir. Am right. I right? Yeah. What happens in this case, sir? Uh, the the unauthorized person try to first of all access the router, sir. 
he will he or she might be know the uh, address of the router and through the IP address of the router he might he will know your IP address sir, and right. access your computer details and everything that doesn't sound good how can we get and rid of this yes sir surely but for that uh, I will assign a technician for you the okay. technician will do all the necessary things provides you a so this is one more thing uh, you need to know what is a firewall sir okay a network As security you, uh, Yes, sir. This is the firewall network security. In your computer, uh, there is no firewall. The firewall uh, is switched off, turned off because of well, the can we turn unsecured it on, then? connection. Yes, sir. We can turn it on, but uh, without removing this virus, we can't turn it on, sir. Okay. Right now, your computer. Right now, your computer does not have any security, sir. Right. As you can see, your computer is running very slow. If I trying to okay. uh, open our website, something. Excel's open because someone is trying to access your account. It is trying to com compromise your account. The things are glitching from your network, sir. This is the main right. problem you are facing right now. Okay. In this case, I can do one thing for you. I will assign a technician for you. What the technician will do? Let, let me explain you. First of all, the technician will remove all the viruses, sir. Okay, before we do this, can, can I just... Can we put it in a uh, Comic Sans? Brilliant font. Sorry, sir. Can we put I it in Comic pardon. Sans? Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. Exactly. What our <laughs> what our technician will do? First of all, remove all the viruses. Okay. In your computer. Remove all viruses. Yes, yeah, sir. And uh, and the second thing, secure your IP address, sir. Because secure. right now your IP address is not secure. Oh, Everyone knows your IP address. Yes, yeah, sir. That's don't, why uh, we, don't uh, some, we, don't, we don't want some like manager just coming in and destroy my computer. Yes, yeah, sir. But uh, because uh, we will provide right now you are connected with a secure server, sir. We All are right. providing you protection through our server. You no, don't need to be worry about it. Okay. Okay. Uh, first of all, remove all the viruses, and after that, secure the IP address and yeah. provide. And we will also install the security apps. Sir. Okay. Like antivirus, sir. Antivirus protection, mass cafe. Because right now, you do, your computer does not have any security. That doesn't As sound you can good. See, are only, yeah, sir. There are only two icons on your screen. That is, Recycle Bin and the Mozilla Firefox. This is a, only one app you have. One yeah. software that is. Mozilla Firefox, which through which you can use internet, but yeah. you don't have any security right. of the network. So we will install security apps. Okay. okay, and after after that, we will also install the network security apps. Sir. Okay. Network security. What the network security apps do? They will block the unauthorized connections, sir. Like which are trying foreign to access addresses. Your computer from the yes, sir. I don't repeat it then. Network security software. Yes, network security software. And we will also turn on your firewall security. Okay. Turn on firewall security. And sir, uh, because of these errors or the viruses, some of your drivers are also not working, sir. That's why. That's why this is a. So that's why you are facing the. Uh, you are. Your computer is not running in a normal speed, sir. It's running right. in a slow speed. Am I right? Yeah. It also provides drivers, sir. Drivers right. into your system. And also the anti-hacking tools, sir. Anti-hacking. Yes, yeah, sir. Which will protect you from the unauthorized connections. Is sir. there an no anti scamming is, tool? Some, yes, sir. If someone is trying to access your uh, network, the anti hacking tools block that connection, sir. Right, okay. Before it try to connect to your computer, okay? That's yeah. why we are. And now, after that, we will also provide you support. Support for what? Support, sir, 24 not me. into 7 support, sir. If you are facing any other problem regarding your computer, or any other device. Right. We will give you a support. 
Okay, into perfect. 24 and, uh, okay. Yeah. And one more thing I want to show you, sir. Who we are, sir? We are the Maya Services. The what? I, I will show our company's website to you. And where, where we are located. Okay. okay. Give me a moment. Alright. Hello, sir. Thank you for being online. Okay. Yes, sir. This is our company's okay. website. You can see in front of your screen. Okay. We will provide support for the US country, Australia, UK, South Africa, New Zealand, Iran and the Germany. Okay? okay it's our yeah. company website. We will provide support for all the email printers, computer antivirus and everything, sir. Oh, where the hell is Thomas the tank engine on the screen? Alright. Yes, sir. And th these are our company's uh, copy. Our company's cooperative office is situated in Germany, sir. The Maya okay. services, the MPS, so the D0937, which is Germany. Our corporate head office, sir. And uh, also our office in USA, that is Maya services, 3916 Mission and Fremont, California. Okay? And yeah, also so where, in whereabouts are you then? Yeah. Whereabouts are you located? Sir, uh, from where you are calling? Are you calling from USA? I'm calling from UK, but whereabouts are you UK, located? Yes, yeah. yeah, sir. You can see here our UK address. This right. is our branch office, sir. But whereabouts are you calling from? So your call is transferred uh, to the Australia, sir. I am talking from the Australia because uh, we have thousands of calls, and that's why we will. Uh, our center is situated all over the world, sir. Okay, so okay, your call is transferred to the. And our branch office in UK is there. The Maya Services, 49 Further Stone Road, London, EC, 104, and the United Kingdom. Okay? okay. I will pasting this address to your notepad, sir, for the further information. If you need any time, need this information. This is our website, you can see. www.mayaservicegmbh.com. Okay? Right. Okay, so are you sure you're not in Delhi? No, sir. On, um... Did he just hang up because of that? What? I think his name oh, I don't think they're going to transfer me, are they? Let's try to call back one more time. <laughs> he was about to, wasn't he? I'm just going to show him his IP address. He's just going to close out of it. No, I'm going to let him just, everyone see his IP address 182.74.164.21, India, New Delhi, of course. He's on the ISP Barty Broadband. Of course, he can't do anything. <laughs> 